What's up guys and gals, your host of the most griever as always, bringing you guys the next piece of One Piece. Chapter 1076, live reaction, not a review this week. The reason being is that a couple of people did happen to tell me, with no spoilers, but said, you know, you haven't really been enjoying Egghead Island, you haven't been enjoying the flow of the current chapters in One Piece and the, that kind of idea, but I think this chapter will put that, turn that frown upside down sort of idea when it comes to One Piece content and Oda and all that stuff. So I'm thinking we're going to see Garp kick some Blackbeard ass maybe this chapter. Something really cool is going to happen. We, we're not going to be on Egghead Island at all because I really don't like it. Who knows? Who knows what's actually going to happen? But I was told I would enjoy this chapter. So even though I stand by my feelings in the chapter 1075 review and stuff with the big thumbs down and all this stuff and all my criticisms of the arc, I stand by most of them. You know, I could have probably worded some of them better. I stand by them, but I'm w more than willing to not forgive those, but move past them and enjoy a goddamn One Piece chapter, right? Having a few a stretch of a couple of bad chapters that I don't enjoy doesn't mean I hate the series. So without further ado, if I'm gonna enjoy this chapter, let's jump right into it. So we have uh, the Shonen Jump weekly uh, cover this week. Uh, we have Luffy, we have uh, in those really stupid hover boots, we have Chopper in a spacesuit, and we have uh, a science, uh, yeah, a scientist known as, known as Vegapunk. Yeah, yeah, I don't like Vegapunk. <laughs> so, all right, and oh, oh, we get a double page spread though. We get a color double page spread. Uh, let's see, we got Luffy, we got, uh, there's Robin, there's Zoro and stuff, there's, there's, there's the crew, there's the crew. Jimbei with some half moon sunglasses, looking like a baller. Actually, I really enjoy, I really enjoy, uh, Sanji with the, with the shades and the green pants and stuff. He's, is yeah, Sanji looking pretty, pretty slick himself right there. Zoro's looking alright, I, I think I would have chosen better. He's got the Letterman jacket sort of style going for him, but he looks okay. Um... Yeah, some of the characters looking pretty good. Frankie there in the background. Where's my boy Brooke? Oh, Brooke with the hood up. Brooke being gangster. Let's go. All right, all right. I uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. This this is a pretty nice cover color page. It's pretty nice. Um, now let's get into the chapter proper. It seems. Uh, all right, so we're leaving off. So wait a minute. We are still on Egghead. Okay, maybe I hype myself up too much. Maybe we're not gonna leave. Maybe because people know I'm a big Zoro guy. Maybe Zoro like kicks the shit out of some Seraphim or something like that. And they're like, come on, man, he's using Conqueror's Eye, let's go. So, I don't know, let's see. Um, Zoro says, even if we take off your handcuffs and fight together, all right, because of the disgust, the disgust about the idea of teaming up with CP0, uh, Zoro was like, nah, I'm having none of that shit. So let's see, even if we take off your handcuffs and fight together, I can't see a future where you let us lock you up again. I mean, fair point. It's like, yeah, we work together to survive, and then we got to deal with you guys all over again. It's like, Jesus Christ, I'd rather take my chances and try to survive on our own sort of idea, right? And wait a minute. Let's be some crazy dude who reads too much into the wording. Zoro can't see a future where you let us lock you up again. Future sight observation, Zoro confirmed. Clickbait title. Boom, big red arrows. Zoro's future sight hockey on Katakuri level. Let's go. Pushing that Zoro agenda right there. All right. Um, you know someone's going to do that. Someone is going to... I'm actually going to make that gag video. I swear to Christ. I will make that vague, uh, that gag video this week. Um, ju just for the lols. Just for fun. Uh, let's see. Will they fight together? Chapter 1076 entitled Old Friends. That might just refer to Luchi and uh, Kaku, but I don't... Th old friends. Who's going to show up? Someone going to show up to Egghead? Who would show up? Old friends. We've already seen Vivi. Who's going to show up? I feel like somebody's going to show up because old friends. Let's see. Uh, Kaku says that's not true. If we can get through this crisis together, we'll keep quiet and let you lock us up again. With that big... We'll let you lock us up again. Doom the eye, the like seriously, yeah, no fucking, no, no way, no way, no. They're gonna let them out. I, I have a feeling like Zoro's either gonna be like, eh, well, what harm can it do? I can kick your ass anyways or something. Or Luffy's just just gonna be like, I believe you, old shipwright icebergs friend. He is not a friend of my, you know. It's like, you're the shipwright guy who helped us. No, he's not, Luffy. Like, something like that, maybe? I, I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh, 
Look, I, I got I got to just read the chapter instead of guessing what's gonna happen because that's like literally what happened. Luffy. All right, that's fine by me. He's obviously lying, Luffy. <laughs> Zoro, love it. Oh, S Hawk's in there. Whoosh, here comes S Hawk and boom. Wait a minute. He slashed, but the sword's still on his back. Is that a kick? Did S Hawk kick? A, 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 like a beam slash? He's not using uh, the fake Yoru. Whoa, holy shit. Yeah, that's a huge damage. What the hell? So they all dodge it. Okay. All right, everybody dodges. And Zoro, huh? Was that? He's got Mr. One's Devil Fruit. The power of the dice dice fruit. The dice dice fruit. That's the... The dice, dice fruit. Um, anyways, all right, the power, right, Mr. One's Devil Fruit. Okay, okay. Let's go. Everyone said maybe maybe not all the Seraphim have a Devil Fruit. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I believe that the the uh, Seraphim that already had a Devil Fruit power have the same one. You know, they have the same power as their Warlord counterpart. And the ones that don't were given, like similar to uh, Jimbei and stuff, was given a Devil Fruit. Right? So, uh, and of course you can't copy, uh, he said, which ones did he say that, uh, not mythical zones, but Logias are the hardest to copy or something? Vegapunk admitted which ones are hard to copy. So maybe if there is a crocodile one or something like that, maybe he doesn't have the sand sand, but he's probably got a different one. So we'll have to wait and see, but holy shit, that's awesome. So confirm that s -Hawk has a devil fruit and yeah, yeah, being able to turn as a swordsman, turning any part of your body into a blade. So if you drop your swords, I mean, I, I mean, that, I, honestly, a lot of people were saying like uh, back when it was Dressrosa that Zoro getting the Mara Mara no me would make a lot of sense. You could have his flame swords and stuff like that. Realistically, Mr. One's fruit works for swordsmen at the best of times. It really is the perfect compatibility. And then we see, okay, yeah, we see he's got all the, he's got the green blooders whatever and then boom look out Roranora we need you to protect us that's Kaku okay and Kaku says still lying on his back do you want to go through all this trouble again I mean Zoro can probably defeat them and Luffy's there I mean Luffy and Zoro teaming up I'm sorry nobody on that island can defeat Luffy and Zoro teaming up I, I, I'm serious so you got four Seraphim you got an Emperor and his and his first mate I, I believe that Kaido and King can beat them. I believe that, well, not Blackbeard, but I believe that, uh, you know, uh, Buggy might be the Emperor, but his two subordinates, Crocodile and Mihawk, could do it. So, oh, um, let's see. Uh, CP0, may I ask, what is your mission? Oh, it's it's Shaka, okay. Uh, what is your mission? I, that, that's true, they don't actually know what the mission is. The elimination of the seven Vegapunks. All right, Luchi being honest. All right, fair enough. Yeah, Luchi don't give a shit. And Kaku, Kaku doing the manipulation, like, I promise, you know, and Luchi just, no. And he's literally standing right in front of you, Luchi, don't tell him that. <laughs> Furthermore, it doesn't seem like Stussy will get out off the hook for betraying you. And Luchi says, yeah, I'll never forgive her. Are you even trying to save yourself? Yeah, Kaku's like, Luchi, shut the fuck up. You're a, literally a James Bond it, well, yeah, you are literally a secret agent. You are a double-O agent. You are a James Bond in the One Piece world. Learn how to lie, motherfucker. <laughs> Learn how to lie. Are you trying to save yourself? Let's see. Yeah, all right. And, all right, somebody shouted. And Zoro said, that was Nami's scream. Oh, shit. All right, so everybody's being attacked. Yeah, so they can probably deal with the Seraphim. Might be a little bit of, you know, it is S-Hawk and, and S-Bear and stuff like that. So it would be... I mean, they're not going to one-shot them, you know, unless unless Luffy and Zoro go all out, gear fifth, conquers hockey, you know, Enma conquers hockey, frickin', you know, unless they do that shit and go all out from the get-go, it's, it, yeah, they're, they're still going to struggle, and if the other crewmates are in trouble, that's fair. Uh, that was Nami's scream, the four of them are on a rampage, that's true. How many others do we have to protect aside from the seven Vegapunks? I mean, yeah, all right, he's got a point. Like, we got our entire crew. That, actually, that's kind of, it's sort of the reverse thing of Zoro. Zoro not really trusting too much in the abilities of the rest of the crew. Um, maybe to a degree, but he's probably thinking, okay, yeah, Jinbei and Sanji can take care of themselves. 
But these these Seraphim are no fucking joke. Like Nami, Usopp, Chopper, the other Vegapunks. Like there's a lot of people. You know, if we gotta fight them and protect at the same time, that's gonna be a tall order for any of us. So that's fair. That's fair. Helmet. Let's see. Oh yeah, Luffy. Helmet. Give me the key to the handcuffs. And okay, I'll leave it up to you. Please protect the Stella. Just all right. We're giving them to Luffy and. Luffy says, so after we stop these four enemies, since you can't beat me, you won't go after my friends of the Vegapunks. Got it? <laughs> Luffy just being like, Luffy talking the track, Luffy talking smack right now. Luffy be like, I already proved you cannot beat me. So, listen, you try shit, I'm going to kick the living shit out of you again. So you're not going to do shit. I'm going to let you out, then bygones be bygones. I won't leave you alone. Like, There's no reason for you to fight me. Now, let's see. Uh, Zoro goes, don't provoke these guys, you idiot. I mean, fair point, because he's basically, he's talking smack to him. He's basically said, yeah, you, you can't take me on anyways. So letting, I'm going to let you out because it doesn't matter if you're let out or not. You still can't fucking beat me. Like, that's just provocation 101 right there. And Luchi says, uh, yells at him, as you wish, because you're the one I want to kill the first among all, Straw Hat. And I think I'll kill all your friends after you're dead. She says, Zoro, do not let him out. Do not let him join us. Yeah, I'm with Zoro on this one. I mean, that is a fair point. I think you guys would be fine. Let Kaku out, maybe. But don't let the... Yeah, don't let don't let Luchi out. And actually, this goes against what I, I've seen a lot of people, specifically teching, talk about how Luchi ha holds no grudge against Luffy. Um, this is completely destroying everyone's argument that Luchi is more of a professional, and yeah, he's bloodthirsty, but he holds no animosity, real, like, any level of real animosity towards Luffy. Apparently, this line completely destroys everyone's theory there. Um, and now Esper's about to attack. Yuras. And then, uh, the, oh, uh, wait, the, the handcuffs are coming off. Shock! And there, boom, there goes the big explosion at the top. Gear for... Okay. This is something that a lot of people were worried about. A lot of people were worried about this and said, is now that Luffy has gear fifth, is he going to go back to his other gears? Because he doesn't seemingly do that anymore. Once he learns a new gear, he basically, he never goes, like, it's a little different from Super Saiyan where uh, they still fight in base form, they fight in Super Saiyan, and then usually Goku went in Super Saiyan 3 sort of idea up until, you know, other series. But they never did that. Luffy doesn't go into just gear second anymore and stuff like that, generally speaking, for the most part. He still does, uh, like, it, at small moments, but basically since he opened right up with gear fifth at the beginning of this arc, people are thinking that he's never going to use gear fourth again. Apparently not. I like that choice. I like that choice. He's gonna. He's like, gear fifth takes a shit ton out of me. Gear fourth still does, but remember, he's extended that time frame. He can use gear fourth way better. Similar to how gear second and third pre-time skip gave him a lot of trouble and there was a lot of backlash after using it. He was able to use it without any of that post-time skip. Gear fourth, as the series has gone on, has been the same deal. Now, it's smarter Luffy's fighting because one of the things that Luffy is smart about is fighting semi-intelligently, semi-tactifully. He knows to at least hold something in reserve. Using Gear 4th right now is actually the smart play. So he's gonna go Gear 4th. That's awesome, that's awesome. So far this chapter, so far this chapter is okay. This is a pretty good chapter. Uh, gear 4th, Goma Goma no, Esper, huh? Sorry about this, Bonnie. All right, don't attack my daddy. And Luchi going into the Awakened form by the looks of it. Uh, or no, no, I don't see the flames. Not into the Awakened form, just standard. Uh, sorry about this, Bonnie. Kong gun and six king pistol. Rogan. And uh, boom, they both, a Kong gun and that. Yeah, Esper is probably just about down for the count. Oh, wait. And, and then, oh, then S-Hawk taking a, uh, Kaku's helping, and then, but Zoro, Purgatory Onigiri. Standard, stand, see, Zoro, Zoro and Luffy aren't going all out, because I don't think they need to. Remember that S-Hawk made Blackbeard sweat? Zoro ain't even putting on his bandana and only using Onigiri against him. <laughs> that is... Blackbeard, sorry guys, I I'm done. Next time I make a top 30, Blackbeard going below the top 10. Blackbeard ain't top 10, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that just ain't happening. Um, and boom, Tempest kick. And they're down. And let's see what happens next. 
see what happens next. Okay, so, well, they seemingly are smashed through windows anyway. They took the brunt of the attack, both Esper and Eshawk, and both get slammed through multiple... Uh, multiple floors of concrete by the looks of it. So yeah, I I'm gonna assume that, that they're now down combo attacks with Kaku, Luchi, Luffy, and Zoro. I'm gonna assume that they're down for the count. I'm just gonna assume that. Okay, inside the research facility. Okay, so that's the end of the fight, I assume. Let's see, please give us some food. It's been two months already without a decent meal. Jeez, what the hell? Are we ever gonna get out? Whoa, wait a minute. Are we gonna die in here? Look at all the world government intelligent agencies, CP5, 7, and 8 are all been locked up. What the fuck? Like, listen, Vegapunk weaponizing the sea beasts and stuff already makes him not a good person. And uh, entertaining Judge and Caesar and, and, and Queen and stuff, once again, again, and creating the Seraphim in the first place and doing all this shit, all these things, he's not a good person, okay? He has created terrible weapons of mass, dest mass destruction. But now we're gonna be going on human, I mean, he was already human uh, or devil fruit experimenting in a way, but are, are we really, he, he captured them and isn't even giving them food, just like the basic like water, Jesus. Two months ago, all right, we're gonna get in from Two months ago, following the Egghead investigation, we were supposed to leave the island. So wait, they, they were sent there to investigate and then they were gonna leave. So they weren't there to capture or destroy Vegapunk. So this is why they're after Vegapunk. They've sent CP5, CP7, and CP8 after, you know, to investigate Egghead Island uh, and Vegapunk's basically kidnapped them and captured them. No wonder they sent CP0 to go kill him. He's been literally like, oh, you sent your government after me, and boom, they disappeared. They're gonna, the government, what's the government gonna assume? You've sent uh, three different agencies. You sent the, the FBI, the CIA, and MI6 after me, and uh, all your agents disappeared. You're gonna assume that I killed some people, you know? Um, let's see, but we were attacked by the Sea Beast weapons. Once again, weaponizing animals. I wonder how Chopper feels about that and had to retreat to this island. Wait, but this is Egghead. This is Egghead inside the research facility. This is Egghead. And we had to retreat to this island. Oh, oh, they had to go back. It's just weird. Uh, worded weird, okay. And all the Cypher Pole members who came to investigate our disappearance ended up like us as well. That's why there's multiple, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were the mastermind behind all this. Dr. Vegapunk, okay. Okay, so Vegapunk's back to his normal self. He's not his kid self like Bonnie said anymore. Um, This is just making Vegapunk look a lot fucking stupider and stupider every single chapter. Not only isn't he a good person, the sea beast and all this shit, he doesn't even know what's going on in his own fucking, in his, like, learn, you gotta know what's going on under your own roof. You know what I mean? Ignorance is not bliss when it's happening under your roof, you know? So that's, yeah. So Vegapunk d doesn't even seem to be aware of this. And now, this is really weird that Oda did that whole, the title card, but Vegapunk disappeared that day and no one knows why. That implied that Vegapunk is gone for like, till the end of the series. Like another mystery unfolds. Vegapunk disappeared from the world and no one knows where he is. We don't, like, that title card was very, very misleading when we, when, you know, when they were searching for Vegapunk. He's like, where'd you go, old Applehead? And the title card, the, the way the title card was written in both the unofficial and the official translations was that Vegapunk fucking vanished from, in thin air and he gone. Like, what happened to him? He was like spirited away sort of idea. Now, um, okay. All right, so he's just captured. He's literally still on the island. But who did this? That's the question. I think somebody brought up a, there could be an eighth Vegapunk. There could be a body zero, dun dun dun, you know, like the Zero Division Bleach sort of idea. Uh, I think people have brought that up. Um, I don't know if that, how much water that holds, but we'll see. Dr. Vegapunk, let's see, so he's... He's chained up though, he's just in a separate vault. Sorry, I didn't know anything about this. 
I had no idea something like this happened here in Egghead. Well, for see, here's the problem. He's been led up to be this genius mind. Not only is he naive, he, he's one of the most naive characters in the entire series. I mean, Luffy punched Vivi out for being naive by trying to save her countrymen and didn't want anybody to die in the middle of a war. He's more naive than that. This man doesn't even know what's happening under his own goddamn roof and he's supposed to be like Albert Einstein of the verse. Uh, he's supposed to be Tesla. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I do not like Vegapunk. I think Oda dropped the fucking ball with him. Um, let's see. Man, I'm beat. From doing what? Uh, indeed, it was incomprehensible. You're literally in something marked Vegapunk. You are literally in one of your futuristic containers. Don't tell me you didn't build these fucking things. Um, indeed it was incomprehensible. The study of the Ponyglyphs. There's no way that intel could have leaked to the world government. What? What does the Ponyglyphs have to do with anything? So he studied them. He has all the information, sure. Indeed it was incomprehensible. The study of the Ponyglyphs. There's no way that intel could have leaked to them. So, wait. The, the agencies were there to investigate whether Vegapunk had, was doing an Ohara, and now Vegapunk can't... I, I don't know what any of this means. Alright, so we're... I'm, and it seems like we move on from there, so I'm going to assume that this is an open-ended thing for discussion and theorizing. I, I... you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, moving on. Navy Branch. Alright, so we're still out... there's the Island of Egghead. Navy Branch G9 has set sail. The ship is headed for Egghead. We have over 100 ships of all sizes. Roger that. Wait, so they've officially set sail for Egghead, so it was that not the... Like, the shadow was made us to believe it was Saint Saturn of the Gorosei. Um, I guess it's implying that's not the case now? Or, because now the 100 ship fleet that sat... We're, we're assuming that Kizaru and Saturn are on one of those 100 fleet ships heading to Egghead. Uh, we're assuming that uh, they're apparently not there yet? Okay, okay. This is the... There is some mystery there. I am intrigued to figure it out. I just hope it's a payoff. Um, let's see. Okay. And now we're jumping over on a certain island in the New World. This is a small... This is a bar at a small port. We're on Elbaf. Yep. Can tell right now, right there. You know how I know? Because, because, Viking style roof. Viking style roof, they got even, they, they even got the big deer, well the moose, the moose, you know, antlers and all that stuff. Yeah, that's, that's totally Viking style. This is Elbaf. This is Elbaf 100%. All right, so we're, we're jumping into Kid. Who, who, who owns these ships? That looks like Beppo's face. Whose ships are these? I don't recognize the heads of these ships. So, there's pirates there. Lost ships of submarines, so that's not law. I... I don't know. That looks like an evil demon jackal head thingy. Um, no idea. Take me with you, take me with you, take me with you, please. You idiot, you're one hot-headed brat. You definitely can't come with us. Ugh. And there's a, a little guy in like a Viking suit. Or, 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 Alright, like he's got the Viking horns. Ugh. Give it up already. You'll hurt our captain's feelings. Wait, captain? Oh shit. I know who this is. This is why people said. This is why people said react to this chapter. We got the man, the myth, the legend showing up in this chapter, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, the parallels. I don't even need to turn the page. The parallels here is is just here because it's they're in a small they're in a small bar, a nobody's bar. There's a kid begging to take me with you. It's the parallel to Luffy. Okay, we got some shanks is here. Give it up already, you'll hurt our captain's feelings. I don't care, I aspire to be the boss someday. 
So just like, I inspired to be a better pirate. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the Luffy of Elda. And let's see, here we go. Yeah, it's red hair. Big boss, that bastard just attacked us. All right, so they're all chilling. They're all, oh, the food is gigantic. The sus, wait, they're, they're, they're giants. It's Elbaf, of course, they're giants. These guys are small, so this bar is fucking huge. Okay, this makes sense because the pillar's like way up high and shit and it just looks like a house, but perspective is everything. Um, the youngsters are causing a fuss now. What should we do? It's looking like it's gonna turn into a fight. What youngsters are attacking? What fucking youngsters want to attack red hair? Um, was it good or bad timing, I wonder? We were just about to depart, too. Huh. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. The redhead, Shanks. Looks like we talked a little too long. Okay. I thought they were both dead. So I couldn't help it when I saw both of my old friends here. What two old friends? What friends did he meet on Elba? Two I thought they were both dead. Scopper Gabon and the Fishman guy from Roger Crew? Like who the who who did Shanks believe was dead but sh that are on Elbath? Um the enemy is surely angry with us. Says oh there's Ben. There's there's the guys that make up the yeah. Once again, Ben Beckman. There needs to be there's too much of an admiral agenda. There needs to be a Ben fucking Beckman agenda. That's what needs to happen cuz Ben fucking Beckman is easily the strongest first mate since Rayleigh. Easily. I don't even think that's negotiable. He's stronger than Shiryu, he's stronger than Marco, he's stronger than Zoro, he's stronger than, you know, King. He's easily the strongest. Um, and he's like, so yeah, there needs to be a Ben, how powerful is Ben Beckman? There's Yasop, Lucky Roo. Uh, Gahaha, Beck, you don't say. You know who he holds a grudge against. The enemy sure is angry with us, says Ben Beckman. You don't say, so he laughs and says, Beck, you don't say? You know who he holds a grudge against. Okay. Wait. Is Kid coming for another fight? Is Kid literally, after getting his arm chopped off and sent home crying to mommy and then getting captured by Kaido, did he not learn his lesson? He thinks because he helped out with the rooftop gang that he, now he can go and try to take on red hair again you know what happened last time it might not be kid but still that'd be all right and let's set sail says shanks are we really doing this boss let's see shanks will this lead to a war says the says the kid don't worry i won't let this island turn into a battlefield he says all right so he's oh so he's gonna go out to sea to take care of kid assuming it's kid Wow, what a handsome man. Of course, everybody flaunting over Shanks. Remember, Shanks, Makino's still out there. You can't be cheating on Makino now. Uh, let's set sail. We wouldn't want to cause significant damage. When did Dorian Bra- It's Dorian Bragi! When did Dorian Bragi- I recognize the silhouettes. When did Dorian Bragi get off of fucking whiskey? When? When did they get off of that island? Holy shit. Damn, man. When did they get... I, I don't remember anybody sending for them. Alright, I don't care. Uh, them back in the story? Let's fucking go. We wouldn't want to cause significant damage here. Dory and Broggy, can you lend me a hand? Oh, they're not even trying to hide that they're in silhouette. Like, we know. So he even mentions... Oh, are those the two friends? How does Shanks know those two? If they've been fighting... For, remember, they've been fighting for like a hundred years or whatever it's been, right? How long they were fighting? They were fighting on that island for like, for, for decades, at least. So, Shanks just dropped by. Hi guys, maybe you shouldn't fight and left and they kept fighting? Uh, I mean, uh, okay. He thought they were dead. When did he mean? When, maybe I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it wasn't a hundred years ago. I don't know. Let's see. And there's Dorian Broggy. Let's go. Look at all of them, they're giant. Okay, yeah, the kid's giant, everybody's giant. Yeah, all right. 
Gah, 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 gah. I don't mind at all, brother. Yeah, let's go. Hey, before that, let me get confirmation on one thing. Hum, from Captain Kid, was it? There's Rockstar, there's the crew, there's Ben, there's Lucky, there's the whole crew. Uh, hey, before that, let me get confirmation on one thing. From Captain Kid? Oh, Shanks is telling him to get it. This is the country of Proud Warriors Elbath. Yeah, we're on Elbath. Guy, 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 guy. You gonna fight Red Hair? Yeah, tell him this. Do you really want to fight me now? Or will you leave your road poniglyphs behind and disappear? Choose wisely. This man is... We... I have been under the impression the only thing doubting me with the whole he is the gatekeeper to the One Piece has been ever since he said in Wano, since at the end of Wano, hey Ben, should we go get it? The One Piece. He's he's thinking of just going and getting it himself. He's this is now leading back into not just my theory, so many people's theories that Shanks is a gatekeeper to One Piece. He's not letting just anybody find Roger's treasure. Nah, 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 nah. He is the guardian. He's the gatekeeper. He's there waiting for Joy Boy sort of idea. Under Roger's order. This man's still following his captain's orders. Do you really want to fight me now? Or, and he's saying, do you want to fight? Or will you leave your rubbings of the road Pontyglyph and turn tail and go away? You ain't going to become... Shanks is literally saying, kid will never become the Pirate King. Damn. Holy shit. Okay. Now I know why people wanted a reaction to that. Now I know why people said, hey, hey, you might not be liking current One Piece. You're going to like this damn chapter. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, Warland, next, uh, Warland, Elbath, New World. Okay. And th there's Kid's ship. Okay. So, boom, he's attacking another one of the ships. Uh, he's seemingly attacking a ship and they're attacking back. There are several shadows of ships emerging from the coast and some idiot is slowly approaching us. Oh, damn. It seems like they're under the banner of one of the four emperors, the red hair pirates. There should be big names as well. Oh, so Kid, of course, Kid was heading to Elbath anyways. He didn't anticipate running into red hair, but now he's seemingly picking a fight. Okay, let's see. And now, of course, his arm that he torn off is throbbing. You know, it's the whole, the scar you gave me throbs. Back then, says Killer. Oh, Killer's advising him. Back then, we couldn't even get a glimpse of Big Boss Red Hair. We were beaten to a pulp with no chance of fighting back. You even lost your arm. Fa, 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 fa. Wait a minute. Back then, we couldn't even get a glimpse of Big Boss Red Hair. It was Shanks didn't even participate. Wait a minute, going back up, going back up. Is that what? Let's start that Ben Beckman agenda. Make it rain, make it rain. The enemy is surely angry with us. Lucky Roo says, ga ga ga, Beck, you don't say. You know who he holds a grudge against. Ben Beckman's a savage. Ben Beckman was the one to kick the shit out of them and take Kid's arm. Get out of my sight, pup, and don't come back. And Beckman, because according to Killer, Red Hair didn't even show himself. So Beckman and Lucky Roo, if we read that, given that context, reread what Lucky Roo says. Yeah, like, wow, those guys are sure angry with us. Really, Ben Beckman, you don't say. I wonder who he holds a grudge against. It's sarcasm. Lucky Roo's being sarcastic because Ben Beckman was the one to kick the shit out of the kid pirates and say, get out of here, children. Holy shit, Ben Beckman stocks just rising. I mean, to me, he was already, he was already way up. Already way up there. Just everyone just sleeping on him for some reason. Fuck your admirals, guys. Admirals are trash. First mates is where it's at. So, let's go. Not all admirals are trash. Original three admirals, they're strong. But, yeah, no. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, uh, next page, uh, stupid ads. This time you might not just lose an arm. It's the big boss. Don't come near the bosses. Okay, ah, uh, so Red Hair's heading out. Um, I've always wanted to meet you, big boss, and Beckman. Oh, Beckman getting the love. I wanted to pay you my tribute money. We don't have that kind of system. 
Oh man, oh man, that's awesome. He's an emperor and he's like, we don't, we don't do that shit. Uh, you might not lose just an arm, but your life. So Killer being smart, Killer not being like, yes, we, we might have gotten our ass kicked by not even red hair, but his subordinates last time. But since we were in Wano and sorta of did stuff, now we can take down an emperor crew by ourselves. Yeah, no, Killer being smart, like Killer always is. And let's see. Kid said, Ha ha ha, but that's only if I were to lose, right? Break next week. So wait, Kid is literally... So he probably hasn't gotten Shanks' message yet. But Shanks basically said, You can either fight me, or you can leave the road Pawnee Glyph and turn around. Because this is as far as your journey goes. You ain't going to the One Piece. It's basically what he's telling him. Telling him. He's a roadblock. And so he's like, fight or turn around and surrender. You got two choices. And Kid saying, only if I lose. Kid, Shank still doesn't need to show up. You know, Ben Beckman can still kick your ass. I'm more than confident in that. Holy shit. Uh, and the final thing, fiery wars are about to clash. A clash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we're losing light pretty fast, guys, for this live reaction, but uh, holy shit, that is one hell of a chapter. I see why people wanted me to uh, live react to this chapter. I see why people say I would be excited about this chapter. Absolutely, 100% agree with that. Um, this chapter was really good. Uh, I think because half the chapter is off of fucking Egghead, and we see the man, the myth, the goat, the legend, the Michael Jordan of One Piece is here, Shanks, Red Hair himself, uh, and let's just push. That Ben Beckman agenda. Let's push that Ben Beckman agenda. Um, but that's it for my live reaction. I think I got all my thoughts out of the way, guys. It's a long-ass reaction anyways. What a chapter. 1,075 might have sucked. 1,076. Yeah, we got some good shit. We only stayed on Vegapunk for like two pages. And that made this chapter so much better for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you back here next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And break next week, unfortunately. But hopefully, we're not another whole 1,075 situation in 1,077. But we continue on. Don't off-screen all of it, Oda. Let's see some shit. Let's see some shit. Let's see Garp and Blackbeard and Law and Kid and Shanks. Let's see all these fights. Fuck Egghead. It's not that great. Let's, let's jump over to other shit happening in the world because it's so... So much better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you back here next time. Sayonara.